Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. In this lesson, you learn another great use of the row filter to get rid of the things you don't want. Cut them off, bring them down, force them to leave. Now that we have finally determined through our very first classification in the last lesson what needs to be deleted, it is time for those mighty rulers to fulfill this vow. But how do we do it? So far we only see who is guilty aka what data needs to be deleted. And it is an old friend that will take over this nasty task for us. So it's always a nice idea to leave the dirty work to someone else, right? A good old buddy, the row filter, will do the job for us. So uh, let's head over to the judicial side, um, I mean the NIME application, and let me quickly show you how to do it. So here we are at our trusted workflow over in the NIME application. And as you might have guessed, it, the very first thing to do, and you know that already inside out, don't you? Um, so take the row filter node from the node repository row filter here we have it we select the rule engine the very powerful green rule engine from last lesson double click to add that okay let's just oh let's just label it pressing f2 and call it um delete all rows with um delete tag and delete seems to be important so we make it bold all right so now let's configure this node by selecting it and pressing F6. And um, the column we want to check and it's already um, selected here is the delete tag. Our available columns are over here, but we want to check the delete tag. That's the one we're going to testify against. We want to use a pattern matching and last time at the beginning of this module, and this is, this is already so long ago. Can you remember that? Uh, but I digress. Um, last time we used missing values here to exclude missing values. This time we still want to exclude someone. We are in a somewhat exclusion fashion we want to exclude but this time we want these that have the tag delete and that's already it we click OK we execute oh we execute our set and now we only have line items that bear the tag do not delete now you see how things you don't like get excluded. Of course, this is only applicable to NIME and digitization. So please do not run your nasty colleague marketing Joe's cat through this workflow. I at least take no responsibility if you try to do that. In the next lesson, I show you a powerful note that replaces another powerful Excel function, the pivot tables. Stay tuned. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.